Previously on River Funsies. We were consistently catching fish. Uh, most of them not keepers. Uh, sheep's head. Pinfish. But just a whole heap of ladyfish. Or skipjack as they're also referred to. And skipjack, we primarily kept those for the purposes of using them for cut bait later on. And there's a skipjack. It's an excellent fighting fish. They jump clean out of the water. And uh, I'm going to do a video later on about cooking skipjack. Uh, Captain Larry told us that it is possible to cook them. You can make fish patties out of them. So I was going to give it a shot. And I was pleasantly surprised by the outcome. But mostly they were used for bait. And here they are. And here we are, two days after the fishing trip had ended. The instructions we were given were to, number one, let the skipjack that I wanted to keep sit overnight in an ice chest. It would make them easier to process. Next step would be fillet them as you would any other fish, uh, but keep the skin on. He said you could scale it because they have just heaps of teeny tiny little scales that will get in the meat or just leave it on and be just be careful with how you cut it and the fillets came off very easily and within the fillets there were like three rows of bones and once I was able to peel this fillet off I could see the contents of the ladyfish's stomach and it was exactly what we were fishing with. Just a regular old shrimp. So they were probably doing a lot of bait stealing that day. But we snagged a few anyway. And they were pretty acrobatic fish to catch. So that's, that's all good and fun. And now, just clean the, the guts off the... The lining of the stomach for the filet. Got four good filets out of two decent size ladyfish or skipjack as they're referred to. The next part, as instructed by Captain Larry, was to find a spoon and more or less peel the, the flesh off uh, between the three rows of bones on each filet. I have to say that the the flesh was almost like paste. It was a gooey paste. The consistency of like Colgate toothpaste. It, it certainly smelled like a fish. Uh, and uh, once you scraped all the meat off and made sure there wasn't any bones in it, you have a, a fish paste. And, uh, you know, just add whatever spices you might uh, appreciate in a fish paste. Tony Sacheries, peppers, onions is what I preferred on this day. And um, mix it all together for fish patties. That's what I was shooting for. And a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it, make sure it all holds together. And proceeded with the recipe and fried them up in a little bit of cooking oil and to see what what the results were so not a very hard process a little more process than perhaps just a regular old filet uh, so I cooked them thoroughly and I'm gonna have to describe this as the most unfishy fish I've ever eaten it had no fish taste at all. It tasted like the ingredients that I added to it. I think next time I may not add anything to it and see what it tastes like. I will not throw back any ladyfish if I catch them in the future. I will eat every ladyfish that is of a decent size that I don't use for bait. It's a, a very tasty fish. It was surprisingly firm for how pasty and gooey it was when making the fish patties. Uh, but it came out surprisingly well, and I loved it. So please like, share, and subscribe, and have a good one.